So Hiena, because of how the undergrowth of the forest is in Trinidad and Tobago, there are lots of creatures that look similar to other creatures and are confused with other species. And because of how it is, they try to blend in with the environment. And one of the creatures that blends in with the environment real good is like this one here. <laughs> this is a cloud snake or cloudy snake or slug eaten snake. It have other names which I will get into in a moment. But this one apparently is in shed at the moment. And it's one of, it looks like a highly venomous snake, but it's actually grow to blend in with its environment. The two other names some people may know it as is Mapapi Chord Violin fid or Fiddle String Mapapi, which is actually another snake, but because of some information got mixed around, some people know this snake now as those two names. But while we were filming the one in Shed, we actually saw three more close by. So the Cloud Snake is a semi-arboreal snake that is found in quite a few areas across TNT. It is mainly nocturnal, meaning you'll only find it coming around at night, but some have been seen early morning and late evening lurking about the forest. They have been seen with black patches and white, but some like, like well, what we saw, we actually saw this one with blackish brown patches and one with brown patches and white. The average length of a cloud snake is around 17 inches, but some have been seen at 24 inches long. Now, some people will tell you that the patterns and colorations on this snake is to mimic the highly venomous Mapapi Balsane, but actually, I believe that the colorations, how it's designed on it, and how it displays itself on the skin of the snake, yeah, is to more camouflage with its environment, so it could, so it's better at hiding from predators. If you ever come across this species and you touch it or hold it, most of it wouldn't even attempt to bite. Most of the time it wouldn't even attempt to bite. It will like do a fake strike, but it will keep its mouth closed. But trust me, do not go holding snakes because they're like what I said earlier. Some people do mistake it for the highly venomous snakes and you don't want to accidentally pick up a highly venomous snake. So please do not attempt to mimic my actions. Now its diet is only slugs and snails. Now it feeds on more the slugs than the snails. It does have a mild venom but the venom is used to paralyze larger slugs so it can feed on them easier. Now if you ever get bite from this the venom wouldn't really affect you because it's more for paralyzing slugs and snails. So if you ever come across this, put it down in the comments and if you enjoyed the video, like and follow. Also share and check out my YouTube channel. Now, until next time, peace out.